Hey guys, welcome to another day in the life as a pediatric nurse. So for today's video, I kind of want to do a get ready with me kind of thing. I want to show you my skincare, how I get ready for my 12 hour shifts, and how we're going to transform this into a functional nurse who's going to work for 12 hours in the ER. And just to show you guys how dedicated I am to this YouTube channel, I woke up 30 minutes early today just so I can start filming and have enough time to make this video. And trust me, I will take anything to sleep more before I go into work. But right now it's about 5.30 and I usually do not wake up for work until like 6.05, even 6.10 and I'm out the door by 6.15. Like literally I need five minutes to do my morning routine, put my scrubs on and get out the door. Now I have a lot more time to actually go through my skincare routine, make my protein shakes, my breakfast, and not have to do that in literally in five minutes. So now I got some time to kind of spread that apart and actually take my time. So I get so many comments on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, asking me for my skincare routine. Apparently you guys think my skin is really good. I swear, I swear my skin is not really this good in real life. It's the lighting, it's the camera lens, it's making me look better than I usually am. Like right now, you can see I'm breaking out right here, right here, and like right here, which is basically where the mask goes. Like right here in my forehead, it is clear, 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 and then just a whole disaster. But I do things to kind of minimize the breakouts. My morning routine is usually the easiest because I'm just washing my face and putting on moisturizer. It's usually the nighttime routine is where it gets a little complicated because I save all my acids, all my active ingredients for nighttime, which is how you should be doing it. So for my face wash, I use this Atomi Foam Cleanser. You can get this off Amazon for like 20 bucks. I have been using this since like middle school. My mom got me this like back in Korea and I've been using it ever since. Because you know, back in middle school, I didn't know anything about skincare. Like I don't know anything about azelaic acid, salicylic acid, lactic or glycolic acid, nothing. And I was just like, this works. But then last month, I was like, why am I even using this cleanser? I'm just gonna use something else because I don't even know what the ingredients are to this thing. So I got a brand new cleanser and immediately I started breaking out everywhere. It was like middle school all over again. And the second I went back to my old face wash, it all went away. So this works for me. My skin just might be used to it and is scared of anything new. All right, we're all done. Now, for my moisturizers, I have tried everything. I've tried the Cetaphil sunscreen version. I've tried the Cetaphil just daily light hydrating lotion. I've tried the CeraVe lotion. It all breaks me out and I don't know why. But there's only one thing that's ever worked for me and it's this Vani Cream moisturizing lotion. I'm not sponsored by any of these products. This is just works for my skin for some reason. You can get this at CVS, Target, Walgreens and it works super well, it's super occlusive, and it doesn't break me out, which is exactly what I need. And now, let's get dressed. So, I get so many questions asking me, Alex, what kind of scrubs do you wear? I wear figs. And just so you know, I am not sponsored. People think I'm sponsored by figs because I wear them all my videos. No, I'm not, sadly, and I cry about it every single day. But who knows, maybe one day. Are you watching figs? Right now, I literally own one pair of scrubs, and that's the same pair of scrubs you see in all my videos. I just rewash it every single night because I'm just too lazy and too cheap to buy a whole nother pair of figs. So this scrub tub has been with me for the last three and a half years working as a nurse in the bedside and it has not lost any of its comfort, its color, nothing, which is kind of surprising. I'll be back in just a second. I'm gonna put these scrubs on. So here's the fit. You've seen this a million times. It feels good, it looks good. And now we have to feed the cats. So here's Winston. I actually gave him a snack time around 4 a.m. So I think he's all passed out but I'm still gonna feed him just a little bit more before I go to work. And here's Bean, she's just sitting in her little cardboard dome thing. How you doing, girl? So I said in my last video, I'm not a breakfast person. I just never been as a kid. I literally don't like getting up and first thing I'm doing is just eating or let alone cooking it and then eating it. But unfortunately, my human body needs nutrients to function for a whole 12 hours. So I usually just make a protein shake and I call it a day. Hey girl. Good morning. Oh, she's coming to say hi. All right, here's how I make my protein shakes. I do one cup of water. Then, uh-oh, we are coming to a close in this one. I'm gonna need to buy some more later. We are definitely at the bottom of the barrel, but we have enough for a scoop and a half of protein powder right there. Is that easy? Pay attention because this step is very, very important. You add peanut butter. Peanut butter literally just changes the entire landscape of this protein shake and it just makes it so much better. I just 
smack it, get that thing in there. It has tons of calories and it's gonna last me through the whole morning. And for even more calories, I do a little squeeze of olive oil in it, just for some good fats and extra calories. And then that's it. All right, and then we just blend it. Look at that go, isn't that beautiful? This blender is honestly amazing. And then we pack it up and we got breakfast. It's that easy. So guys, that's my whole morning as a pediatric nurse. Um, my mornings are really simple as you see, like I go through it really fast. And this is kind of rare for me to actually kind of take a step back and actually pay attention to what I'm actually doing. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. This is a very realistic life of a pediatric nurse. And I have an idea for a video where I want to do an unrealistic day in a life as a nurse. Like I see so many nurse influencers who go to the gym at 3 a.m before their 7 a.m. shift. To me, that is just insane, but I kind of want to do it for a video and just kind of see, do I actually feel better if I work out before going to work? Who knows? But that would require me to wake up at 3 a.m. So that's gonna take a lot of commitment out of me, but I'm gonna make that video for you guys. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a kind of a short one, but it's kind of want to get these out to you guys as soon as I can, but I'll see you on the next one. I love you.